Hello everyone, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest uh, weekend edition of our update. This is the weather analysis for this uh, weekend, January 10 to 12, Saturday to Monday. And uh, this is our English version, brought to you by uh, Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And we would also like to thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability, if you're interested, just click on the link here. And if you're watching via Facebook, there's a link on the description below this video. And also the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Leno Cabredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. Let's begin with the uh, update. It looks like the, the shear line has uh, migrated a little bit to the north, but it is somewhat diffused, weakening and it's bringing some showers and uh, some convective uh, thunderstorms across the uh, eastern sections of northern and central Luzon. Down here over the Beagle region and the rest of Visayas and Mindanao, we are experiencing the warm easterlies, bringing some uh, mostly cloudy conditions with some light showers and thunderstorms across parts of uh, the areas I've mentioned, Bicol, Visayas, and uh, Mindanao. We have the northeast monsoon here over the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon, extending all the way across the West Philippine Sea. And uh, this kind of uh, system will persist for the next uh, couple of days. And here's the zoom in satellite mission from uh, Windy. This is the uh, uh, forecast on the uh, I mean the satellite loop and uh, you can observe here some small patches of thunderstorms uh, in various sections of the country particularly here over the uh, Philippine Sea east of central Luzon so these are dissipating uh, cloudiness of the easterlies and the shear line located here easterlies over here and northeast monsoon along the west Philippine Sea and over extreme northern Luzon. Now let's take a look at the uh, latest wind forecast for the next uh, five days. We are monitoring a possible development of a low pressure system near the equator moving towards Mindanao and the Visayas. During the past few days, it shows that the uh, system is expected to move over the Bicol region, but it has shifted more to the south and it's likely to pass over eastern Visayas, central and western Visayas as well, all the way towards Mindoro uh, for next weekend. That will be January 16 and 17. So we are going to keep an eye on that potential low pressure system. So here's the latest from the ECMWF European model. So let's forward this on the development of the LPA likely Thursday evening. I mean Tuesday evening, January 13 until Wednesday. And we have here this uh, LPA. And it is likely to move west-northwest towards eastern Visayas. And on Friday uh, morning, it is likely to move over the uh, area of uh, northern Karaga, Siargao, Dinagat, and Bucas Grandes uh, Islands. And it's likely to traverse Leyte and Samar area in the evening of Friday. And then on uh, Saturday, it will uh, quickly move across Mindoro, passing uh, earlier over Hintotolo Channel, south of Masbate, and uh, Saturday afternoon it will be over Mindoro. So that's the forecast of the potential LPA from the European model, and that is uh, five to six days from now. So the probability of this forecast remains medium to low. So we are still. Uh, not sure if this will be the final track of this uh, potential low pressure system. And to move forward more than five days, which is uh, low probability, the system will 
dissipate over mainland Luzon for a possible recovery here. Okay. And then on uh, January 19, Monday, it will be absorbed into the into the frontal system that is developing south of Japan. Okay, so this might be another rain event for next weekend across Visayas, Mindanao, or the Biko region. And also across southern Luzon, Metomela will not be spurred if this will push through. So we will keep an eye on this uh, potential tropical system a low pressure area or possibility of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm because the american model is uh, depicting a tropical storm next weekend so we are going to keep an eye on that potential weather system that could bring heavy rains across uh, mindanao visayas Bicol region southern luzon so uh folks over albay please monitor the system for possible development because it will be a uh, impending threat over the slopes of mayan volcano which is currently having some activity so uh, that's the forecast from the uh, european model if we are going to focus our attention on the american model it shows here that it will still uh, the same with the European model, it might form Tuesday evening and then uh, January 14, Wednesday, it will track towards uh, the same area, but it's more on a possible curvature because it shows here Friday, January 16, it might become a tropical storm moving across eastern Visayas as well, but on Sunday, January 18, it will start to recurve over the Albay Gulf, moving on a northeasterly curvature track. You can observe here that the movement will start to shift towards the east. So that's the uh, forecast with low probability on the American model. Now to uh, wrap up things, this is now the forecast from these two reliable computer models so this is the american i mean the european model it will form here and it will track at this direction and then it will move here dissipating up here because it will be absorbed by a developing frontal system somewhere here so that will be the track of this uh potential uh, low pressure system now if we uh, uh, take a look on the track of the american model the Amer american model is also here then it will track this way moving that way okay so we still don't know what will be the potential track but the fox over visayas beagle region Central and Southern Luzon, let's monitor this system for a possible rain event that could occur next weekend, beginning Thursday, until probably Sunday, January 18. Okay, now how about the uh, Google DeepMind? I'm gonna show you here the latest on the uh, Google DeepMind. Let's uh, take a look here. So here, this is the Google DeepMind. It's more on the uh, right side of the track of the previous models, the American and the European. And uh, the potential is still same with the American model becoming a tropical storm, but it's more over the uh, Philippine Sea, not making landfall over the country. Roughly 300 to 500 kilometers east of summer or later, and east of Bicol region, with a possible curvature on Sunday, January 18. So the Google DeepMind is somewhat safe when it comes to the full effects of this low pressure system that could, uh, 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 I mean, forecast to become a tropical storm. So 
we still don't know it depends on the uh, intensity of the northeast monsoon if it will infuse some dry air if uh, the northeast monsoon infuse more dry air i mean the cool dry air it will uh, inhibit intensification of this lpa so most of the i mean majority of the computer models are forecasting it to become a low pressure system but when it comes to reaching tropical depression tropical storm it remains to be seen it, it depends on the atmospheric conditions the wind shear the uh the effects of the northeast monsoon on the system so we will wait and see when it comes to the oceanic heat content and the sea surface temperature it's still quite high between 28 to 30 degrees centigrade okay we will wait and see by monday we will return for another update since uh, it's uh, moving closer to the potential uh, the formation of this uh, LPA, which still not present over the latest satellite photo. If you look at the satellite animation here, there's still nothing here. Okay, so the, the potential is uh, to form somewhere here uh, come uh, Thursday. So we will wait and see. Uh, let's hope that it will not push through because. Uh, Fox over Albay is in grave danger if this will push through. When it comes to the rain, let's move forward into Thursday. So you can see here the effects now of the LPA on Thursday, January 15, and move into Friday. It will affect a wide swath of Visayas, also Mimaropa and uh, Southern Tagalog provinces, including Metro Manila, will be uh, experiencing some moderate to heavy to uh, somewhat intense rainfall brought about by this uh, potential LP that will be next weekend you can see that on sunday it will start to weekend because of the uh, coverture uh, scenario for next weekend so that's the reliable rain model from the ecmwf so we might see 50 to more than 100 or up to uh, 200 millimeters of rainfall if this LP will come through when it comes to the wave heights uh, still heavy uh, or large waves of up to uh, more than three meters will be expected over the east philippine sea all the way until uh, the arrival of that potential lpa that will, will be on uh, saturday or friday because uh, it will generate wave heights of more than three meters Okay, so please take all necessary precautions. The rest of the West Philippine Sea and the inland waters of our country will remain moderate to rough and dangerous to small fishing vessels. So please take all necessary precautions. So far, we're still on the northeast monsoon season. We have a La Nina, Easterlies, Shoreline. So it's really difficult to uh, move into the deeper part of the Philippine Sea because of these large waves but if you're very close to the coastal areas it's okay but uh, please take all necessary precautions also if you are on the inland waters of a country there might be some good uh, ocean conditions or sea conditions but expect some moderate to rough seas because of the impending uh, northeast monsoon the lpa potential lpa that is expected to arrive uh, next weekend now for the latest on the global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center issued the last wednesday uh, valid for the next two to three weeks we're in the third week is highly uncertain the second week is medium chance okay medium probability uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, the week two valid uh, the January 14 to January 20 the Philippines will be experiencing some above average rainfall of uh, 50 to 65 percent so that's a moderate chance and a uh, more than 20 percent or low probability of a tropical cycle formation that's why we have that LPA that could pass over Visayas or Bicol next weekend and then on uh, week three 
valid January 21 to January 27. Same situation, more than 20% of low probability of a tropical cyclone formation east of our country. So that's the uh, continued uh, potential threat of that LPA, which is extended uh, until the third week of uh, the forecast. Okay, so it's still unknown, highly uncertain. Even Pagasa on their latest uh, tropical cyclone threat potential, January 8th, it shows here that there's a low to moderate chance of a tropical cyclone formation east of our country moving towards eastern Visayas and eastern Bicol region. That will be January 9 to 15, week 1. So that's a medium chance to low chance of uh, probability. Week 2, January 16 to 20, 22, because of the recovery based on the American model, since this is uh, based on that uh, kind of model, it's still at low to moderate chance, or 30 to 50% for ability, up to 60% for ability. So we will wait and see on what will happen if that LPA uh, develops, okay? So we will keep you updated uh, beginning uh, next week, probably on Monday, we will return for another update on that potential LPA that's very hard that it won't develop or else we might be uh, having some trouble, particularly those affected by the uh, eruption, I mean the uh, PDC uh, rock walls on, uh, over the slopes of Mayon. This will uh, be dan dangerous because it could create some lava flows. And also in other uh, volcanoes like Kanlon and uh, Tal. So please take all nice precautions. Listen to the latest update from Vagasa and from other reliable sources. This is Mike Padua. I'll see you again next week. Have a great weekend. Stay safe always. And uh, good night to all. Thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless.